is victorious. Every time the devil comes, Jesus swings and hits him so hard, the devil backs up and has to regroup and come another way. <laughs> you got to be so clear about your commitment to God that the devil has to go back and get his stuff together. And come, you trying to figure out why the devil keeps showing up in different ways. You don't confuse them so because you keep serving, you keep worshiping, and you're committed to being obedient. And the devil comes back another way because you didn't yield when he came the other way. He said, all right, you won't turn the stones into bread. I'm going to come back. I'm going to ask you to jump off the building. All right, you won't jump off the building. I'm going to come back. I give you all of this. If you, and he keeps coming back. And Jesus, every time he comes, he says, for it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. He is emphatically, he is, he is convincingly optimistic. That word optimism is a word for faith. Somebody shout faith. faith. The Bible says that the devil comes back again. Jesus says again, it is written. Don't you read the Bible, devil? Yeah, you know the scripture. You used, you used to be on staff in heaven before you got fired from, from, from your minister music position. You, you know the scripture. It is written. You shall not tempt the Lord your God. He comes back again. The devil says, worship me. He said, what? Away with you. Exclamation point. All I'm trying to tell you is you got to be convincingly optimistic that victory is yours if you've got faith. The size of a mustard seed. You got the power to tell a mountain, you're laudering. I need you to get out of my way. Uh, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Uh, but if I'm going to come, I need to come believing that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Somebody shout, believe God. believe God. If you're going to get victory, you got to believe you can have the victory. You got to act like you got access to victory. I got to be thoughtful. I got to be mindful. I got to be resourceful. But lastly, I got to be hopeful. I got to have, I got to have faith that the Father is going to give me victory. I'm reminded of Abraham in Romans chapter 4, verse number 20. The Apostle Paul chronicles Abraham's story as Abraham's wife is 90-something years old. Abraham is older than her. She is barren and he ain't got no Viagra. But God says he's going to have a child. And the Bible says that, that there will be a clear appearance of evidence that there is no way that Abraham could have a child. But I believe something happened to him because he went from thinking the Lord had lost his mind to suddenly being dogmatically convinced. The apostle Paul looks at Abraham's behavior. And in Romans 4 verse number 20, he says he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to God I came to say to somebody you got to learn how to praise um, before victory is manifest in your life Abraham starts praising God before the child comes that's where I get it from you don't have to wait until the battle is over but you can shout right now you got to learn how to be so convinced that you start giving thank yous before you see victory at your house. You got to be so convinced that you got a hallelujah in your spirit even before you see victory. You got to be so convinced that you don't wait until you get the breakthrough to break out. But you break out before you get the breakthrough. And when somebody asks you why you're running, you can respond by saying, it's on the way. I wish you would hit somebody and tell them it's on the way. You got to learn how to act like God's going to give you victory. I must be confident, not necessarily in my own ability, but I must be confident in the God that I serve, knowing that he's fully able to do exceedingly above, above all. 
I can ask a thing. Is there anybody here under the sound of my voice that knows that God is able to give you victory? I think I got about 12 people out of all of these people in the room that can be living testimonies that the Lord is able. I hear you saying, I ain't talking about what I heard. I'm talking about what I know. I think I got a few seniors in the building that can say, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. But I think I got some witnesses that can testify that if you call him, he will show up. If you call him, he will make a way. If you call him, he will move. If you call him, he will touch. If you call him, he will provide. If you call him, he will deliver. If you call him, he will give strength. If you call him, he will give peace. If you call him, he will give joy. If you call him, he will give protection. If you call him, he will open doors. If you call him, he will defeat your enemies. If you call him, he will lift you up. If you call him, he will bring you out. If you call him, he will see you through. If you call him, he will hold you together. If you call him, he'll heal your body. If you call him, is there anybody here? You tried him for yourself. You know him to call him your own. And you can be a witness. He's able in the morning. Able in the noonday. Able in the midnight hour. The Lord is my shepherd. And because he's my shepherd, I shall not want. Is there anybody here that knows he will? Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Hit three people and tell them you're a winner. You're a winner. You're a winner. You're going to win this fight. You're going to win this battle. You're going to win this situation. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, Satan, you got to flee. Tell me who can stand be for us when we call on that great name Jesus Jesus precious Jesus we have you have Come on, say, you have. Look at somebody and say, we have. Hit yourself and say, I have. The victory. If you believe God by faith, give him glory right now. Come on, take 30 seconds and act like you're convinced. Act like you're convinced. I don't know where the devil has shown up in your life, but I tell you to act like you already got the victory. You don't have to wait until the battle is over, but you can shout right now. Somebody ought to shout like you already got the victory. The 47th Psalm says, Clap your hands, all ye people, and shout on the God with a voice of triumph. If you know you already got the victory, let the redeemed of the Lord say so.